At first, it might seem like crypto is a scary place where there's thieves lurking around every corner trying to take your money. And uh, you're not wrong. This business has some shady characters, but it's only because it's a new industry. And in every new industry, there's always going to be shady people taking advantage of other people's ignorance. I've never gotten scammed, right? I'm, I'm going on my fourth year uh, doing crypto investing successfully. I've never even lost a dime, but I have seen people lose a lot of money. I'm talking about millions. Uh, Mark Cuban, just like two, three years ago, lost like $8 million around in crypto. So I'm going to go over five things that I do to keep myself safe. And I think this is common sense, but you know what they say, right? Common sense isn't so common these days. Number one, and this is important. Do not click links in your email from any crypto company. And this is kind of like the equivalent of like, you know, when you hear about old people who got an email from a Nigerian prince and the Nigerian prince says, hey, my $25 million inheritance is trapped if you send me five hundred dollars i'll send you half you know you know how people fall for those kinds of scams this is the equivalent to that these days scammers are good at replicating a centralized exchange email like a you know binance coinbase Kraken, whatever you use. And they can even mess with the URL of wherever they're sending it from so it looks official. I, again, to me, it's common sense. Like, they're not going to send you, oh, you've got like $10,000 that you can claim. They're not just going to give you free money, bro. No one gives anyone free money. I don't care who it is. Same goes for Twitter, Telegram, and Discord. If someone DMs you on any of those three platforms and it's just like, hey, you know, click this link for XYZ, don't do it. I, dude, I used to work with this lawyer in Los Angeles. I was helping him learn crypto and this guy, he calls me one day frantically. Like he was calling me back to back because I wasn't answering because I was taking a shower. Get out the shower, get on the phone. And he's like, Miggy, someone, some guy just texted me this thing and I can, you know, it's like this thing for $10,000. I look and I'm like, send it to me, S send me a picture. I look at it, it's just some guy DM'd him and, and he was gonna tell him to click this link and mint, mint this NFT. I was like, dude, do not click that link. This guy was a lawyer. You know, this guy was worth a lot of money. He was very intelligent and he was still falling for like this crazy okay another one don't click links you see on the timeline uh even even if it's like under a, a a reputable accounts tweet let's say coinbase tweeted something they're updating you on something and if you click on the on the tweet you know how you can see the comments you go down a couple comments and then you see another what looks like coinbase and might have the same logo maybe a, a similar username and it'll say click this link to claim your free dogecoin or whatever if you actually click on that profile you'll realize Realize that that is a fake profile but because it looks real because they'll make their uh, Twitter handle look official they'll make the logo the the profile picture the logo some people will actually click that link and lose their money it's so insane so do not do that please number two always verify websites look if you're gonna go swap tokens I know right now meme coins are going crazy it's the craze bro people are getting rich people are losing money with that being said you're gonna be swapping tokens obviously do not go to Google, type in Krypton Labs or Aerodrome or SushiSwap to go to the decentralized exchange to swap your tokens. Do not do that. Why don't you do that? Because these scammers, they're good. They can replicate a website to look exactly like the website you want to go to. Now, on top of that, they will buy Google ads so that they're on the very top. So when you search, let's say you wanna get on, um, you wanna sw swap on Krypton, let's say you, you put Krypton Labs on Google to get on Krypton to swap. When you, when Google shows you the top three, one of those might be a fake website because they'll actually pay for that. These guys are sophisticated, okay? Now you're gonna click on that website, you're gonna link your wallet to that website and they're just gonna drain you. They're gonna take everything you got, okay? Don't do that. Three use multiple wallets this isn't this isn't the 1990s anymore you got to get sophisticated i'm going to give you my method you're going to have your no risk main wallet this wallet is where you keep most of your holdings let's see you're holding solana we're all waiting for it to go past its all-time high we know it's going to do good so you're obviously not going to touch it. you're not moving it around you're not swapping it right put the majority of your holdings your long-term holdings in the no risk wallet that means that you are not using this wallet for anything except for holding those funds until you want to sell. Then you're going to have a medium risk wallet. This is where you're going to use for like coin trading, right? Now, maybe you've got a little bit of Solana on there so you can go on these different decentralized exchanges, swap for meme coins. You know what I'm saying? Like doing all that crazy stuff, 
trying to come up, trying to turn two, sol two Solana into a hundred Solana, whatever you're doing. Now you're gonna have a high risk wallet where you can go crazy. Yeah, go mint that NFT, go, you know, f around a little bit, right? You might get lucky, but you're gonna use that specific wallet for that. Those other two wallets, you are not gonna involve in any high risk activity, right? So three wallets, okay? And if you don't know, on Phantom, if you're getting into Solana, on Phantom, you could have multiple wallets on like one account. Four, get a cold storage so i'll show you what they look like i have mine right here this is a ledger check this out so you see this you got to enter a pin this is a physical device you need to access crypto like i just explained i have my no risk wallet that's where i have majority of my money right you need this to access that i need this to access it you know if you're using phantom you could just swap you know you could turn your you could turn your solana into usdc and then send it to coinbase and you know, all you do is click a couple of buttons. What this does is if you want to do anything, whether you want to swap, you want to send money, you want to mint an NFT, if you want to do any action on a specific wallet that's tied to one of these, you're going to need this device to execute that action, right? So like, as you can see right here, it says enter pin. You see that? In order to get inside here, you're going to have to enter the pin and I'm going to do it for you so I can show you exactly what this looks like. Boom. So I enter my pin and as you can see, it has different types of crypto that I can do, right? So like I got Bitcoin, Ethereum, there's Solana. So like we're just gonna go to Ethereum for example. And then it says application is ready. So at this point, I would literally just hook up the USB to the computer and then I can go into my Ethereum wallet, right? Using this and execute anything. I could send funds, I can swap Ethereum for, you know, Pepe coin or whatever. What this does is it acts like the ultimate layer of security. Because let's say you didn't listen to me and now you're clicking links and now someone's trying to drain your wallet. Well, if you have this cold storage, it's impossible because you would need to confirm the transaction using these two buttons right here. There's two, there's two buttons on the side right here. These two buttons, you would have to physically press this. And obviously the hacker or the scammer on the other side doesn't have access to this to do that so they can't take your money this is the ultimate form of security when it comes to crypto you need one if you want one there is an amazon link to buy one of these in the video description so go ahead and grab that and then number five and this is the most important thing this this is kind of what sums all of this stuff up number five is you need to manage your emotion the reason people get scammed is because people are greedy like it's this it, in your head you're so greedy and you're excited calm the f down you think people are going to send you money for free no that the reason you actually believe that's to, that's going to happen is because you're being greedy that greed is making you make stupid decisions so you have to manage your emotions so that you don't get scammed you know what i'm saying it's like being on the street let's say you're walking around san francisco right let's say you're walking around the tenderloin and some random dude is like hey buddy come behind this dumpster in this alleyway and I'll give you 500 bucks. Are you gonna be like, oh yeah, sure, why not? No, right? Unless you're like kind of a freak, that's a whole different story, but like you're more than likely gonna be like, no, that sounds unsafe, I'm not gonna do that. And for the possibility of getting $500 that I don't even know you have. It's the same thing, bro. To be honest with you, 95% of crypto companies or like, you know, these crypto influencers and personalities or anything really, anything that's official, they're never gonna contact you never they're making money you know what i mean they don't need to contact you you personally and be like hey i got an opportunity for you just click this or do this and i'll give you five thousand dollars no they're not gonna do that okay so learn to manage your emotions you guys know i'm always talking about that don't be out here greedy don't be out here overly excited you need a manager and and that's how you win not just with crypto but in life all right i'll see y'all next time